So, okay, shalom, shalom. Shalom. So back at you with another sit down, or we'll sit down style lesson better yet. Through the spirit, Lord willing, it's edifying. Before we get started, we'll give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach, Giving double honors unto the head apostles of the Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom to the elders, the elder bishops, the brothers of Great Millstone, and those out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. So just rolling through the spirit, uh, we got a lot of things that are going on right now. You got Biden ready to step down from the next election. You know, the, the, the alleged assassination of you know Donald Trump, the unrighteous decrees that are being issued forth as far as you know, the World Economic Forum saying in countries like uh, the UK that a digital ID will be mandatory, which is going to lead to ultimately the MOTB. And you also have military doing uh, readiness exercises all throughout Babylon the Great as far as a blockade and siege where they're going to snatch you out of your house, you know, and take you into these concentration camps pursuant to biblical prophecy. And what the Lord is doing is he's also systematically breaking down Babylon the Great, the city of confusion. But before that happens, there's a set there's a set series of events that are talked about in the Holy Scriptures. And we see these things happening precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little there, there, which gives us comfort, you know, that we're closer to the that we're that we're closer to the finish line. You know, our 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 um our, our captivity is just about accomplished. So let's start out with the book of Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter verse ten. We'll just go from there, bro. All right, the book of Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 10, it says, The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And that word for confusion is the Hebrew word babal, you know, which means uh, the word confusion, which means babal. What, that's what Babylon is, yeah. the land of confusion, where, you know, we just were going to go to a campsite to go do some street teaching and literally... What are we driving to? A pride fest. Yeah. You know, a huge, a huge sodomite fest. Or well, ultimately they're exalting, you know, that type of behavior and celebrating and, and protecting it and throwing festivals around it. Yeah. The same type of the same type of spirit that was in Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt up. Similar to this judgment for Babylon the Great. This is the book of Luke, the 17th chapter. And that's the type of behavior that the hopeful elect will have to be witnessed being pushed into earth and being exalted. The exaltation of women, you know, um, the worship of idols. And ultimately, this nigga Esau Edom pushing forth the modern day idol at you as far as the, uh, the, the, the idol that he wants you to bow down to, which is his technology and his RFID and primal microchip. This is the book of Luke, the 17th chapter, verse 26 and it reads and as it was in the days of noah noe so shall it also be in the days of the son of man our lord yahweh shai they did eat they drank they married wives they were given in marriage until the day that noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all and esau edom is ready to roll on you jakes they have military exercise military exercises that are being done by federal state you know, local authorities, and they're doing some of these readiness exercises in local communities. Yeah. You know, there was one that was done out there in the Colorado area in, in a uh, residential neighborhood. And they're doing some of these exercises out there in the desert, you know, in the, in these remote areas with these um, foreign mercenaries, because some of these police and military, they're not going to be down with going into regular communities and snatching up Americans and snatching up into, and snatching them up into concentration camps. So that's when they're going to bring in the mercenaries. Some of these actually actual police officers are going to retire, you know, or, you know, throw in the hat, you know what I'm saying? When, when it comes down to the get down. So they're going to have to bring in the first, the foreign mercenaries, which is talked about in the book of second Ezra the 16th chapter, mm. you know, a great multitude is kindled over you. Right. And these things are written about in the Holy scriptures. And when we see these things, we get excited because we ultimately know that, we're that much more closer to the end because right. those are end time prophecies that are talked about in the Holy Scriptures. People being unaware, people being in the mercy spirit, you know, wanting to build Israelite communities, people wanting to, uh, you know, people coming into the truth for the wrong reasons, you know, for the praises of men, 
you know, for, for, for likes and subscribers, you know, this isn't a hangout, you know, ultimately we, we have a job to do and that's the warn the hope for the let, you know, and get the blood off our hands. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure your, your phone is still recording. Yeah. I put mine on do not disturb when I be doing lessons. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Still recording. Back to the book of Luke 17 and 28. <clears throat> and what happened when uh ultimately Noah got done with building that ark? Well, they were taken they were taken by surprise. You know? They were taken by surprise because they were mocking Noah. Noah was building for 120 something years, you know? And that's what we're building, the spiritual ark, you know, building up the house of David. And also there's sifting going on. Yeah. You know, you want to get that, bro? The book of Amos, the ninth chapter? Unless you got a preset, bro, we bring it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so basically what he's talking about, you know. Uh, the falling of a nation, the falling of a power, of king, of a government, mm -hmm. you know, and these and there's always prophets that come out that the Lord sends out before every government, every system falls. So I, write, I got this right here. This is actually in the NLT. This is Proverbs 28 and verse 2. In the NLT, it says, when there is moral rot within a nation, its government topples easy. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. All right. So you see a, a nation right now of moral rot, just like the LGBTQ. You know, you got just people going wild. Their morals have just went downhill. And that's the reason why you see this government falling apart. All right. I'm going to read it again. And that's why if I may, uh, the, the, the land of America is known as the Valley of the Shadow of Death. A valley is a low land of low morals, principles, you know, because who's in rulership? The base man. The base man, yeah, yeah. Esau, Edom. If you go into the statue of Nebuchadnezzar's dream, he was at the base of the statue. Yeah. <laughs> you, Esau, Edom, rulership starts with the base, you know, from the knees on yeah. down. Divide, you know what I'm saying? Divided, uh, divided, divided Europe, divided Rome. Yep. And this yep. is divided Rome coming back. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, America, it, it has all the same, um, same architecture of Rome. You know, fast food. You know the uh, the exaltation of women, right. the, the the military being spread upon um, uh, uh, the military being spread thin around the whole earth. This nigga's trying to police the whole earth, and at the same time, the currency devaluing. Yeah, just like it was in the ancient Roman Empire. Right, and the Lord is catapulting this place because He's ultimately setting up His kingdom, and these are all signs that the Lord is literally about to take this place down, man. He's about to take this place while everybody is, you know, concentrated on the bread and circus, you know, uh, whether or not that that's that stage, whether whether or not the shooting of Donald Trump was botched or not, mm -hmm. you know, sports and so on and so forth. Well, the Lord ultimately is working in the earth, man. Yeah. Man's going to have the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? But the, the scriptures say that people will be in that spirit, yeah. you know? Continuing. Oh, you got something uh, else? Which one did you uh, tell me to get? Uh, I forgot, bro. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It happens. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> that happens. So that's why we got to yeah. get them while it's hot. Sometimes, you know, we get to Definitely. talking. Uh, Luke 17. I don't write this like it comes back. This is Luke 17 and 27. They did eat. They drank. I'm going to start again from the top. Luke 17 and 26. But, okay. man, but first, Luke 17 and 26, as it was in the days of Noah, Noe. It says Noe, but it's Noah. And Noah... If you go into the Hebrew, it means Nawak, which means comfort, you know, right. because Noah had the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. He had the spirit of prophecy. He had the ability to understand through the spirit of Harvey Habah Shemia Shah that the Lord is ready to bring forth judgment. And Noah is symbolic of the prophets who have uh, that spiritual discernment through the spirit of Harvey Habah Shemia Shah, that spiritual emergency broadcast system, you know, to ultimately realize that we're here at the finish line. Right. Because all the signs are here. You know, the damnable heresies are here. The apostates are here. The chain reaction when we speak the truth of it being called hate speech, radicalism, extremism, persecution, you know, Jacob's trouble. And also, the there's a sifting within the house of Israel. The Wadi Amos 9. That's what I meant to get. Amos 9. Yeah. Okay. Because as the Lord is building the house of David, he's sifting the undesirables, you know. The mockers, the scoffers, the unbelievers, the murmurs. This is the book of Luke 17 and 26. As and as it was in the days of Noah, 
So shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came. And that's where we're building up a spiritual ark. And Esau and Edom is ready to roll like a flood in New Jake's and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. And that's what a lot of Hebrew Israelite camps are in the spirit of building up Hebrew Israelite businesses, communities, you know, all for nothing. Right. Vainglory, you know, because this 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 world is ready to be destroyed. This age, this eon and the kingdom that's reigning. And if you're joined into this place, guess what? You have a sore judgment coming, man. Yeah, they're putting their trust in a uh, in a society that that has moral rot. A burning it. house. Yeah, a burning house. Yeah. And we just read right now, it says when moral rot comes to a nation, it's government topples. And you can see it. Even the average person, like even the ones that ain't believers, they could see the moral rot. But they have no clue of really what's going on in the spirit and prophecy on the way Lord the Lord set these things up that are supposed to happen, you know, just like uh, the time of Noah. All right, so I'm uh, Amos. Yeah, yeah this, the scriptures also say um, um, when the wickedest men are exalted, rough, some, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, something happens. I'm forgetting the, the exact way the precept goes. Yep. I think it's in the book of Proverbs 12. And see, that's, that's the reason why it's a blessing for, uh, you know, you Jakes out there that came across this truth and actually understand it. You know, it's a blessing because... A lot of people are wondering what's going, why these things are happening, but they don't know. They don't, they don't know why these things are happening on the earth. As a matter of fact, uh, you mind if I get something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. If you if you All can, right, if, follows, you, if you can look up the precept, uh, I don't. Uh, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, uh, it says when the when the when the vilest men are exalted. I think it's in the Book of Proverbs and the Book of Psalms. Okay. I think it's the twelfth chapter, but I was trying to find it. I couldn't find it. All right. So right here, this is a Matthew chapter 24 and verse 38, following off with what the brother said in the times of Noah, the same today, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage until the day Noah entered in the ark. But this is the point. And they knew not Woo. until the flood came. Yep. They knew not until the flood came. So the same thing going on today. People are eating, drinking, partying stuff like that they know not what's about to approach until those missiles come you know so it's a thing it's a th you know thank you how about shimmy all shy if you if you know the reason why these things are going on and you know what's approaching because that gives you a, a tool to have the ability to escape this is the book of job the 36th chapter verse 12 and it reads but if they obey not they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. Ooh. I'll read it again. This Ooh. is the book of Job 36 and 12. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. And Esau Edom is ready to roll. Yep. Because what's his what's the sword? Has, that's his blessing as a consolation prize from Isaac, who is our Lord. Yeah, how was shy if you can receive it? Yeah. You know? What what did he give Jacob? The real blessing. Yeah. What did he give what did what did Isaac give Esau? Mm -hmm. A sword. A sword. A sword, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? That's the spirit that you brought that out because, uh, you know, um, when they knew not until the flood came, what was Noah doing? He knew, but also he obeyed. You just read, if they obey not, you know, he he made that ark just precise how the Lord made, made it. So this is just not about knowing. It's also about obeying. Mm -hmm. You know, no, Noah knew well, the Lord said obeyed. obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this is the, the book, Job 36 and 12. If they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge. Mm. And the scriptures say, and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times for things of, of salvation. Going into wisdom, that uh, that goes back into skill and warfare. If you look it up in the Hebrew, mm, you know, skill and war. Because this is a spiritual warfare. And the scriptures say in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, wisdom delivered from pain, those that attend upon her. You know? And it also says wisdom um, built her house. You know? Yeah. Because that's what's ultimately uh, going to keep you sane in these times. 
you know, going into the precepts, going into the accounts of our forefathers and how they got delivered, you know, because we're coming into ultimately the times where you're going to have to just move and operate in the spirit. Definitely. The elder Yashawamba says, uh, venturing into the unknown. And that's the book of second, Esther the 16th chapter verse 40, you know, For, uh, if I can get there real quick. Second Ezra 16 40. I got it. It's right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm literally on second Ezra 16 nice. in, the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the scroll right here. Oh, my people hear my word. Hear my word. That goes into mm, knowing. Right. To oh, the my, knowing. Yeah. Right. Oh, my people hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. And in those evils, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Mm. And the Lord made the earth for our sakes. So you're really not a pilgrim. You know, if if you want to get down to it. Yeah, that's yeah? true. Yeah. Because the Lord will sustain you, even if you're out there down bad. <laughs> even if you're out there down bad, the Lord will sustain you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you really and truly believe him in him and you're one of his. Yeah. You know, now the scriptures say the Lord has not appointed us unto wrath. Yeah, you may get jacked up. You may be out there damn bad, you know, but that's ultimately for a humbling and that's ultimately for a learning experience. And that's ultimately to give you confidence in these last days that the Lord will sustain you. Yeah. If you're putting that predicament again, the Lord did deliver me out of it last time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I was down bad, you know what I'm saying? But hey, the Lord had my back, you know? You know what I'm saying? And now I'm on my feet, you know what I'm saying? Just roughly paraphrasing if you're... Uh, just if you're putting in that situation, you know, because in Jacob's trouble, you're going to lose everything. But if, if you've, if you've been close to losing everything on this side before Jacob's trouble, then that should make you more, that should make you more confident in the times to come. Not, not, uh, not boastful or proud, but that should give you more confidence that the Lord will deliver you in those times because you've already been through it. Definitely. You got a head start on Jacob's trouble in, in a sense, you know, because you've already felt some of those, you've already felt some of those things. It's like it, bro. Yeah, right. exercising that faith and patience. Yeah. So when so when the pressure does come rough, you know, you'll already be have, have that endurance built up. Yeah. Yeah, very true. So, um You mentioned a point a little earlier uh, about the transferring of the kings, if I can get it. Uh the book of Sirach, the tenth chapter. Okay. Verse 4. And he reads the book of Sirach, the 10th chapter, verse 4. Matter of fact, it's on 11. I'll get 11, and then I'll go to 11 and 5, and then I'll go to 10 and 4. Okay. Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of had worn the crown. Mm. Because the Lord reproved kings for our sakes, and we're a nation of kings and priests, and no one thinks of us as the, uh, the royal people. You know? Right. You know? It, it says in the book of uh, Zechariah, the 12th chapter, the royal descendants of of, of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai shall be as King David. Mm -hmm. If I can get that, it's in the NLT. This is the book of Zechariah 12 and 8, because ultimately what the Lord is raising up is that house of David. You know, and certain of those men are going to actually get spiritual power. But that starts out with you believing this word and believing this word and having the, the, the true proper wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is spiritual power. That's power, man. That's why Esau Edom is moving the way he's moving. This nigga shook. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly the reaction that we would get when we would proclaim who we are. It said, great fear fell upon those that saw them. You know, if you look into another uh, definite, another version of it, it says sudden terror. Sudden mm, terror. Sudden terror. Wow. You know, that's that dreadful, that's that dreadful sound that's in his ear. This is the book of Zechariah 12 and 8 in the NLT. And it reads, and it reads, <clears throat> on that day, what day? These last days that we're in, you know, the 11th hour, the Lord, Yahweh and Yahashua will defend the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be as mighty as King David and the royal descendants will be like the Most High, will be like gods, mm. like the angel of the Lord who goes before them. Yeah. And that's what the Lord is raising up, man, a spiritual army. And that starts out with you getting this word, Yeah, you know, and you being forewarned, you being forewarned. And you that's know? crazy because the Lord, he always, he always chose that. He always chose the people that people would least expect. King David. Yeah. King David, he was the, uh, he was the smallest of his, uh, of his kindred, of right. his brothers. You know, when the, uh, when the prophet Samuel was sent to anoint one of Jesse's sons in the book of first Samuel, the 16th chapter, you know, he, he, when he looked on, uh, Jesse's first son, he was like, this got to be the guy I got to anoint. But the Lord was like, no, nah, that's not the dude. Because mm, how he the, looked, yeah. Yeah, because he, he probably he looked probably mighty. big and, and ripped. He, yeah. Probably all swole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jake looked like he could bench 315 off the incline, yeah. you know, for 20 reps, warming up. Yeah. Like, it's got to be the dude, you know what I'm saying? 
but that's not the way the Lord uh, looks at. The, that's not the way the Lord had it operate in the spirit. All it's right. the same way as we're looked at. Yeah. You know, because the other Hebrew Israelite camps, they got the fancy armbands, and that goes yeah. in the book. Of, that's what goes into the book of James, right. second chapter. Those that have the gay clothing, you know, as far as not, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Double pause. Um, slack it. But not in the form of mo gear, in the form of um, fancy clothing. Yeah. You know, in the form of silk and uh, linen. You know what I'm saying? In the fence of fancy garments and uh, royal attire from the ancient world. The prophet wore rough garments. Right. You know? And that's how we're looked at in the form of we don't have uh, 501c3 charters. We don't allow women at camp. We don't bang staffs. We don't make Edomites or uh, people who look like the other nation kiss our boots. We don't come to, to camp with a loudspeaker. You know, we yeah. don't, um, we're not in this for the praises of men. You know, we don't come out to get big numbers. Right. You know, we're just literally sitting here. If I could turn the camera around, we're just sitting here at the park, you know, overlooking, overlooking the uh, San Diego Bay. And we're like, hey, you know, let's get it in and do a lesson, you know. And there's a lot of brothers who will teach in remote places. Because ultimately, the Lord will put the Spirit on certain people to walk by, you know, and 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 inquire, even in a remote place yeah. when you're teaching. <laughs> I've seen brothers teach in several or remote locations, and the Lord will bring, like, for example, Elder Manatee Zakba, he'll sometimes get off the boardwalk, off the main drag where he's at in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, and he'll go on the beach. And the Lord will bring people over there in a the little side area that he's at to mock, scoff, some ask questions sincerely, so on and so forth. Yeah. <laughs> And we were talking about that when we were driving around looking for a spot and in the form of, uh, I was just having a spiritual conversation with the brother in the form of the last place where we were at, which is like a main concourse. We didn't really get a lot of fruit from there. Most right. of the people who inquired sincerely and genuinely came from them tuning into the channel. Yeah. Because the Lord will put the spirit on somebody to search YouTube and they'll be in the local area and they'll be, oh, Miami, you, you, Miami prophets. And they'll be in, they'll be in, um, uh, you know, the local area, Broward County, yeah. or somebody looking in Denver or around that area. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will be in Garner and they'll find the Raleigh camp. Somebody will be in uh, Oceanside. You know what I'm saying? And right. they'll find the San Diego, uh, the fine street teachings in San Diego or Brothers Teaching. Definitely. You know? That goes into uh, the lower controlling man's steps. Right. If I can get a precept going into that, if I may, brother. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, verse 23. This is the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, verse 23. And it reads, O Lord, Shai, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps because the Lord directs your steps. He gives you your instructions when you're in your sleep. Yeah. You know? That's a Proverbs 20, 24 and Job, I believe, 32. And it's also, I want to say Proverbs. Yep. 16 and 1. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because when you're in the spirit, you know, he could, you know, when you're studying every day, being in the spirit every day, when you approach a situation, <clears throat> And someone like, you know, you get in an encounter with someone, you could say something wise and just clear that situation. You'd be like, dang, how did, man, that's not the normal me. The normal me would have, you know, would have yelled and there would have been a fight. That's applying what you, that's applying what you read because you're locked in. Yeah. Like you go to the gym, right? And you'll be exercising and all of a sudden the spirit will hop on you to do a certain exercise a different way to, 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 to hit the muscles a little harder mm. because you're constantly in the gym. Yeah. You're in that muscle and fitness magazine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're looking at the routines and you think about all of a sudden the spirit will hop on you. Let me, if I do the arm, if I do the dumbbells off the incline, with a little resistance, I can hit the lower part of my bicep. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's in that spirit of that that muscle magazine he was yeah. reading. Yeah. Well, I just stays that just stays in being what that's it, uh, that stays with being locked in. Yeah. You know, watching the videos, studying, reading, you know, staying in the gym. Staying in the gym, yeah. Staying in the spiritual gym. You know, exercising your spirit, you know, daily, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be through reading, studying, you know, praying, so on and so forth. Because there's a lot more to uh just doing a whole bunch of videos, you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. This 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 truth is more than doing videos. There's a lot that happens behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of brothers, um, they 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 fail to fall short. Of, they fall short of understanding that, and we're starting to see that as of late. You know. The examples of that. Matter of fact, we were meaning to get the book of Amos, the ninth chapter. If you, unless you got anything. Bro. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Unless you got something, brother. I don't want to be the you know, Amos chapter nine. I don't want to be nine. hogging the mic. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, no worry. So we got Amos chapter nine. You want me to go start off with the what verse eight? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Amos chapter nine verse eight. It says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth." And the eyes of the Lord are the angels. The scriptures say, uh, "The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil." You know, Proverbs fifteen and three. You know, the eyes of the Lord are ten times, uh, ten thousand times brighter than the sun. And that goes into also um, his men upon the earth. That's an extension of the eyes of the Lord. Mm. You know, your, your your fellow brothers who are in the truth, if they're in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai and they're true servants of the Lord, that's his eyes. That's his eyes. That's part of the body, you know? All right. And that's why the, the spirit hopped in that, that, that brother from the Indianapolis camp to call out that chat, you know? And personally, just speaking from experience, I've had experience with chats and feeling things that were off and the spirit just told me to leave those chats and that was a few years ago on instagram there was chats that were that were brothers from multiple camps and i was like i shouldn't be seeing these brothers doing these things and i shouldn't know these guys as well because they're not in my region right. you know like for example we have a group chat with brothers who just do the work down here that 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 congregate with each other and we just share videos articles you know um lesson uh, we'll share lessons We'll share uh, precepts, and we're just in the spirit of building. You know, no murmuring in the chat. You know, none of that. You know what I'm saying? We set the grounds for that. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just for edification and keeping each other sharp and staying in that spiritual gym. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like a body meaning. Oh no, no, yeah. But that's what's it. been going on as of late. So sometimes you got the spirit of hop on you to speak about certain things that are going on. You know. You want to read that again from the top, bro? All right, this is up. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is Babylon the Great, the city of confusion. Yeah. Because everything here is ass backwards and defiled. Because who's in rulership? Esau, Edom, the base man. The, 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 uh, the prophet Job said he would disdain to have him with the dogs of his flock. Because if you leave Esau, Edom around some dogs too long, what's, what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen. You know? This nigga has laws to protect that behavior too. You know, bestiality. That's the same thing that the ancient Canaanites were into. Yeah. You know? That's why the Lord told us to not go deal with him in the, in, 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 in any form or fashion. You know? And he's the biggest hypocrite on planet Earth. Yeah. He makes laws against the things that he is into. Well, he protects those laws that he's into as far as laws against the Yahweh Shai. Mm, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I want to make sure it's... You know what I'm saying? Catch each other, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's crazy because event <laughs> you know, with the bestiality, the pedophilia, you know, they're eventually trying to uh what is it, uh Pop uh population control. Yeah. You know? Because uh you know, two 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 women and two men can't procreate. And that what does that do? That creates diseases. You know? Yeah. I'm gonna keep on going bro yeah so this is a uh, uh chapter amos chapter 9 verse 8 behold the eyes of the lord are upon the sinful kingdom and i will destroy it from off the face of the earth and i will destroy it from off the face of the earth and that's exactly what's going to happen to babylon the great you know it's known it's known as the city of confusion and and what happens um what happens in the end is the city of confusion which is babylon the great is set for a sword destruction you know if i get a piece of the back of it up this is jeremiah 51 and 25 <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get Isaiah. Isaiah 2. We we're going to open up with this when I was when we were first talking. Mm, okay. Isaiah 2. I was looking at this to open up with Betty. Isaiah 2 and 17. And it reads Isaiah 2 and 17. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. You know, pride and the proud man, basically. You know, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai alone shall be exalted in that day. And the idols he shall utterly abolish. Chesare Borgia, you know, uh, self-worship, 
you know, the worship of women, the worship of uh, the rock, Islam, you know, Jake and all this bullshit, the worship of rocks, people into worshiping rocks yeah. and crystals and whatnot. You know, we wear them because ultimately that's that's a part of our culture, you know, and that's what we did in the ancient world. You know, if you go into uh, the, the garbs of the sons of Aaron, mm -hmm. they had 12 stones on them, which is symbolic of the 12 tribes of Israel. So that goes back to our heritage and our customs. But we don't worship rocks and none of that bullshit, you know, because that's idolatry. That's the first commandment that the Lord told us not to do. Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Thou shalt not uh, make any likeness of anything in the heavens and the earth and bow down to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Isaiah two and nineteen, and they shall go into the and they shall go into the holes of the rocks and to the caves of the earth. Revelation six, mm -hmm. Amos the ninth chapter, the verse, the verse two verses. For fear the Lord and and for the glory of His Majesty when He ariseth to shake terribly the earth. Yeah, the earth's gonna reel to and fro like a drunkard. The slaying of the Lord shall be many. You know, from coast to coast, baby. You got it, bro. Yep. So it says that saving that I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Save yeah, the Lord, because the Lord's going to leave a remnant in that day. You know, the Lord's going to leave a remnant, man. You know, it says for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Yeah, the Lord said he has lost none, you know. And the Lord is doing sifter right now because ultimately those who are of the Lord are going to are ultimately going to fall by the wayside. You know, we hope to be ultimately in good graces of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh and He keeps us to the end. This is the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, verse 4. And it reads, uh, Roman, uh, Romans 11 and 5, and it reads, even so at this present time, also is there a remnant according to the election of grace to the election of grace and that goes into mercy you know the election goes into the elect you know which is uh those best fit to rule you know those who are predestined from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation that's the real definition or breakdown of that word world in john 3 and 16 the cosmos which is the order or arrangement of government every man in his own order mm, right. you know what i'm saying and the Lord is building up a spiritual government, you know, on this side through his word, through his men. He sent out to to, pre to preach his word going into that spiritual house. Right. You know. I want to keep on reading down. The so 11. it says uh, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And that's what's happened. The sword is being sharpened. Mm -hmm. He saw Edom's ready to roll. All the unrighteous decrees and mandates are all already in, already set in place. You know, the stage is being set for most likely for Trump to be reelected. And he's being celebrated as a hero. You see, uh, the 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 T-shirt salespeople were on it the next day. These niggas was making T-shirts with a bloody <laughs> image and them have been raising the fist. And the, these maga um, these maga heads are buying it up like crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And uh, what's going to happen? Most likely with Trump being elected. Well, that's Nero coming back. What happened in the ancient world when Nero uh, was in office in Rome? He caused the fire in Rome. And who yeah. was blamed? The Israelites, which led to 70 A.D. You know, Titus and Domitian, Titus and Vespasian Domitian coming in and doing a blockade and siege on Jerusalem. And Jake was ultimately forced into, you know, um, into exile, into North Africa and then eventually into West Africa. And then Esau, Edom double back on us, spend the, spend the block a few hundred years later, you know, a few hundred years later, you know what I'm saying? A thousand years later, but yet, you know what I'm saying? And came and got us again. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? According to prophecy, because we would have to be on the Western Hemisphere with our brothers. You know? Because if you go into history, the, the Northern Kingdom came over here during the uh, during the Assyrian Empire under King Solomon Ezra V. You know, they they came over here to escape Assyrian captivity under Solomon Ezra V. And they came over to Arsworth, which is another land. And Christopher Columbus, if you look, if you go into, um, if you do a Google search for Arsworth and Christopher Columbus, he identifies that land as North America. Right. You know? I think that's in the Jew Jewish encyclopedia. Yeah. So we don't just be speaking at the side of our, at the side of our gums and platform our gums. We actually go into secular history, war history, world maps, and then backs up what the scriptures are saying. Yeah. Because the scriptures, this holy Bible right here, and this apocrypha, this is a living document. This is a living document, you know, 
these are living waters. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what that's what the Lord told that woman. That she, I, I can't give you these living waters. <laughs> yeah, you know. And Barakat the Yahweh If you can receive these living waters, man, you and know. This is what Yahweh Shai shed His blood for. That way, we could understand and go into these and have the insight and get comforted. Every, yeah, and get comforted, man. This is the book of Saint John, the fourth chapter, verse. Yep. Verse ten. And it reads, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of the most high and who is it that saith to thee give me to drink thou wouldest have asked of him and he would have given thee living water living water yeah yeah and that's what we have the access to the the lord said he would pour floods upon the dry ground and upon him that is thirsty you know because when we're in the world our our spirits thirsted for truth Mm -hmm. For the truth, we were just looking for it in all the wrong places, you know. Like without wisdom and knowledge, you're basically dead. Like you, you, you know, a dead state. Just. And the scriptures say, uh, where there was no, uh, where there was no vision, the people perished. And who are the prophets, the visionaries? Yeah. In the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. This is the book of Isaiah, the forty-four chapter, verse three. We'll get a few more wrap on up, exactly. you know. This is the book of Isaiah, the 44th chapter, verse 3. Let's start with 1. Yet now here, that goes into knowing. Yet now here. Mm. O Jacob, my servant in Israel, whom I have chosen. That goes into the nation of Israel. And the elect, because there's an elect within the elect. The elect are the nation of Israel as far as the nations in the earth. But there's an elect of the elect. It's called the Israel of the Most High, the Israel of God, the elect, the remnant. You know? Isaiah 44 and 2, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshad, that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee, which will help thee. Fear not, I will not fear what man, what man can do unto me. Psalms 118 and 6, you know. O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground, the, the valley of the dry bones getting this word, this living water. And it made them alive, the sinews, the flesh, and the breath. What happened when the Lord breathed on the disciples? You know, he was said, receive ye the Holy Spirit. You know, I will pour my, um, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. Yeah. And they shall spring up as, as among the grass, you know, uh, Psalms, the first chapter, mm, you know, yeah. as well as by the water courses, one shall say that I am Yahweh, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, that Hebrew name, you know, Ashamath. Brother Malachi, you know, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. You subscribe unto the Lord by subscribing to these channels. In scripts, in scripture say, and the, and the foundations of water were seen. Mm, yeah. You know, right. You got it, bro. Yeah, and, and you know, the internet, you know, is you know represents the unicorn, you know, to gather Israel together, just like the elders. Uh, I was hearing the elders talk about, you know, this was last week, uh, saying how some people said, oh, y'all need to go in the hood and teach this and that. But why go in the hood? You got people killing each other. You got people doing dope. That's going to take, <laughs> that'll take a million years for us to, you know, to reach heads and end up getting shot when you got the internet that can reach, you know, millions and millions to tap in, you know, with the elect. Fuck going to the hood, man. Yeah. Jake is completely destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that and the the camps who go to the hood, you don't see them converting people over there or bringing them <laughs> no. in. Or next week, one of those guys who inquires is right. on is on the is on the side, you know, stunning with his notebook. They go there for vainglory <laughs> and to keep real to snatch up a few quiches in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and to and to look mighty and to and ultimately to get the praises of men. Yeah. Oh, they're in the hood. They're tough. I you know create what I'm saying? videos with debate so people yeah. can see the whole debates and the whole yeah they do it for clickbait entertainment they do it for clickbait vainglory and to get uh and, and and to snatch and to snatch some hood rats man let's just call a spade a spade you know oh yeah he was cutting them up with the scriptures yeah <laughs> that's not what this truth is about you know it's about ultimately you know receiving mercy from the lord how about shimmy how shy yeah you know this thing isn't a sport, you know. This is this is the truth. This is 
something to see. This is a survival, this is a survival kit. You know, this isn't a sport, nothing to play with. Mm hmm Yeah. What, what? You got something, bro? Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't. It's almost that time, because, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so All right, 7.30, we'll get, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll get uh, the Amos, the night chapter, verse 11, in that day, while I build up the house of David. Okay. And we'll close on All that. All right, so this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, and verse 11. It says, in that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. And the tabernacle of David, that's the congregation of David. You know, David and his mighty men, that spiritual army. And that's symbolic of having all 12 tribes together and the throne of David, right. which is symbolic of rulership over the heathen. If you go into the book of Samuel, you know, David was out there putting in work on the heathen. Yeah. He had Mo he had uh Edom in garrisons. He had Moab in check. Ammon was in check. All these heathen nations were in check. You know? And they were all in fear of the and they were all in fear of David, man. Right. You know? Because David was putting it down. And that same type of fear is gonna come upon these nations ultimately when we're in the kingdom, man. You know? But right. that starts out on this side with us getting that us getting this word right the scriptures say great fear fell upon that we saw them man I, just, I gotta get that and that goes into ultimately the times that we're in this is the book of revelation the 11th chapter verse 11 unless you got anything else we can close on out you know what i'm saying no nah, you're good this is the book of revelation the 11th chapter verse 11 this is the amplified bible Revelation 11 and 11 in the Amplified Bible and it reads but after three days and a half 350 years from 1619 to 1969 Jake was basically a dead body from the neck up not knowing who where when why and what you know Swing low sweet chariot mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> You know southern hymns and everything else but the true identity Nationality and the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know is what we uh, Ultimately we didn't know who we were man that's all we had was, you know, uh, hymns, you know, and and and, and uh, what's those uh, those slave songs? You know what I'm saying? Forgetting the exact name or terminology that they had, you know what I'm saying? But that's ultimately what Jake had, man. And plantation Christianity, you know, which a lot of our people are still drunk off of, but the remnant will wake up out of that deep dark sleep, and will get these rivers of living water, this 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 living water, you know this word and stand upon their feet and profess who they are and that's what's happening in these last days that's why vocab malone is moving the way he's moving mm, yeah yeah you know being a vagabond and, and 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 a stalker you know you know he's a uh he's a uh a spiritual sexual predator yeah you know what i'm is, saying yeah that's what hap that's what happens when uh <laughs> that's why uh, the boss of the heart told, told, told Jake to call the cops on him, man. Because that's what happens when the sexual predator gets released in the neighborhood. What they do? They put his face up everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This guy is said to be released in this neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he is, you know? He's trying to uh, spiritually molest you with plantation Christianity, you know? And he, like, he, he likes to go to the weak Jakes. Yeah. Praying yeah. on, praying on, praying on uh, children. Yeah. In the, in the spirit. Yeah. You know? And sometimes he'll he'll come around adults in the spirit to see if he can if he can uh try to try to try to get it try to try to sway them as well. Yeah. You know. Or make make them look bad. Yeah. Or the same thing we were speaking about earlier, clickbait. Clickbait. Yeah. Clickbait for his channel. You know because he has his following of bugged out jakes that think he has the truth. Yeah. That he's doing a good work. Yeah. You know. But after three days and a half, it's the breath of the. Uh, but after three days and a half, the breath of life from the Most High came into them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear and panic fell on those who were watching them. Mm. And it has the the priest that it links up with Ezekiel thirty seven five through ten. Let's get Ezekiel thirty seven and ten, Amplified Bible. Let's just see what it says. Ezekiel thirty seven and ten, Amplified Bible, and it reads. Ezekiel 37 and 10 Amplified Bible and it reads So I prophesied as he commanded me which we've been commanded to to prophesy Set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against him. That's Esau Edom's kingdom And the breath came into them and they came to life and stood uh, up on their feet and 
exceeding great army an exceedingly great army and that's that spiritual army that's the tabernacles of david mm, you know beautiful that's that's present present day prophecy yeah right now as we speak what you just read yep man i don't have anything else okay you got yeah that's, else, bro? that's pretty much it so with that uh lord willing you were edified and in closing, we'll close on that right here. We'll give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, and Abashai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Giving double honors unto the head apostles of the Great Millstone who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders, the elder bishops, the brothers of Great Millstone, and those out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. Until next time, next lesson, next camp session. Shalom, wa ba ba ba. Yahweh, Shalom, 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 Shalom,